I really thought I could moonwalk in my life. <laughs> it's another thing I've discovered in my 20s, I can't moonwalk. It looks like I've walked into a room, shit myself, <laughs> and I'm trying to get out before anyone realises. <laughs> Because it's simple to do, isn't it? You just look like you're walking forwards, but you're walking backwards. But I can't... <laughs> I really thought I could do it. So I can't moonwalk. And now the only man who can teach me is dead. Uh, I called my DVD Funny Magnet because uh, of the hilarious expression Fanny Magnet. Um, and Fanny is one of those words that I think in my accent, sounds worse than anyone else. I think the specific street I was born is mathematically perfect, so that when I say the word fanny, it really upsets people. And when I say it four times in the same sentence, then they really don't want to hear me say fanny anymore. Uh, but fanny magnets are what men who attract women are, and since I don't attract women, but I am a comedian, I hilariously flip-reversed it and uh, no one gets it. So I just frequently get asked what's so funny about magnets. And then I say, Fanny. Well, I, t I like to talk about things on stage that are the same for everyone. So like having to constantly tidy your house and know that as soon as you finished it, it's just gonna get dirty again. And yet it's a cycle that you just will have to continue for the rest of your life. That level of ennui and depression really taps into something that I find hilarious. Washing bean pans and just thinking for the rest of my life I'm going to have to put my hand in tepid water that's got that little slightly thicker bit of tomato juice because you've had it on the pan and it's boiled down. That, I, I just... Because if I talked about the things that in my life that aren't the same as everyone's, like, you know, just getting in limos all the time and having all-night orgies, uh, this new drug that we've got called uh, Nimble. Um, it's really amazing. But I mean, I can't talk about all that stuff because people just people don't know about it. So I pretend to be this sort of frigid V-neck wearing uh, stud. And then we'll all be sat together, and one of them will go, "Oh, I'm going to do the washing up." And I'll be this gif, and I have to watch them, and I think, "Yeah, so am I." Five minutes after you think you. Do. <laughs> And I'd rather they didn't bother, because I could just watch them doing it. It's like watching someone make love to my wife, but badly. <laughs> just, oh, you're not even damn going to have to do this again in a minute. It's, it's got all your grubby prints all over it. But they look so happy when they do it. They look me in the eye and they go, hey, look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing. Go, yeah, I can see what you're doing. You're doing a baking tray when there's still wine glasses. <laughs> I laugh most at uh, huge uh, pictures of myself in cardigans uh, that are perspectively shot so that it looks like I've got tiny legs. But I laugh so much that if I see one, I just I soil myself instantly and then I can't speak for three days. So I'm actually not allowed to, there's sort of a restraining order that I'm not allowed to be near one. Um, otherwise, terrible things will happen. I apologise for using the term MILF. I wish I didn't know what it was, but I'm afraid I live in a generation where porn is just everywhere. <laughs> it's just everywhere, and I'm not strong enough. I, I'm not saying... It's not like a, yeah, I watch a lot of porn, oh, I love to... I hate myself for watching porn. I just can't resist, because <laughs> it's too easy for me. As a man, it's just too easy. I can type titties on a computer, and titties come up. <laughs> Instantly, titties, titties! I don't even have to spell it right. I can spell it wrong. They go, did you mean titties? <laughs> Sorry, I only had one hand. <laughs> um, if you need a comical stocking filler, I would suggest uh, a severed leg. Because um, when they come down in the morning, they'll think their stocking's really full and gradually the sort of horror will dawn on them as they start unwrapping their stocking that it's just a severed leg. And I mean, that really is the gift that keeps on giving. You know, where did you get it from? Why did you do this? Who are you? How did you get in my living room? These are all conversations to have over dinner. Um, if you like funny DVDs, there's one out called Funny Magnet, which 
is a word play on fanny magnet. Um, yeah, there's a case for it, but I'm not allowed to look at it. That's why I'm banned from Asda. Clean up on aisle three.